this is really, really serious because men are losing their way. When I was growing up, even in my darkest days, and, and believe me, I had some dark days. I knew from the men in my life not to talk to women about your problem because they knew that women would judge it. They can't help themselves. You talk to grandma. They would say, go, no, not about my personal issues. They would say, go to the preacher or some strong man to talk to. But nowadays, you can't even go to these weak men because they're like weak women. I'm telling you, Christ is being degraded in ways that I never thought that I would see this. This is not good that this is happening. Now, when you're watching it, if you're emotional and you live in your imagination, it feels sad and you think that's good, you think you're showing love, but Oprah is not showing those men love. She's not even showing the women love who go in and talk about their personal issues. It's ratings. Because it's like a field, it's like not a field dining room, but a, what's the name of this guy? That's, yeah, it's a Jerry Springer thing. People, evil people are addicted to judging others and do it because you feel better when you see others duking it out. That's all that does for an ego-driven person. This is evil and this is wrong. And it's not helping. I don't care what anyone says, it's not helping. You think Christ would be on TV telling Oprah in the world he would molest it and looking to Oprah or anybody around him to help him like that? He would not. It's a spiritual thing. Sherry, do you disagree with that? Um, I feel like I'm learning yeah. because um, because I feel like you know what you're talking about, and you and like you said, you're talking about the order. Yes. You know, God, Christ, man, woman, child, and um, I feel like it's like a naivete. You know, people being naive. Yes. That um, they're allowing that to happen or that they're thinking it's serving a good purpose. So and what exactly do you think was wrong in that? And what exactly do you see wrong with this show, with that particular well, show? Well, one thing is that I think Jesse made a very crucial point when he said that there was really no help given. Like He didn't watch the end of the show, though. I did watch the end of the show. I didn't see the beginning of it, but I saw the rest of it. But like, um, you know, like there were no answers given or or resolutions given. As a matter of fact, apparently some of these guys came from an organization that some guys running up to help men, and a couple of guys. There was one guy on the show who, I think, Oprah asked him. Uh, are you getting better? And he said, no, I'm not getting better. Uh, have you forgiven? Or something she asked him, and he said, no. And so even this guy that is supposed to be helping these guys, I'm not helping him. You can see him. He's a weak, pathetic guy. He wasn't doing anything to help either. Otherwise, he would not have encouraged those guys to go on that kind of a show because he had lost his way too. Men can't do that. Women need men to be strong. And we all go through things in life and there's a way to overcome them. But men have to be strong for women. I guarantee you with all that is within me, those men who expose themselves like that and are married, their wives will never be better women. They're, they're never going to respect them. They will always suspect that they're doing something. I guarantee you that with all that is within me. But these guys open up and admitted that, they set themselves up to catch even more hell in their homes because the wife got to look up to the man and if you, your man is that weak and gone through this and acting this way and carrying on, how are you going to look up to him? And to cuddle him on your breast and make him feel good is not saving the problem or resolving the issue. And you can't, a woman can't look up to a man like that. She's going to feel sorry for him. That's not looking up. She's going to uh, suspect him. That's not looking up. She's going to cry for him. That's not looking up. The man is her foundation. The man is her way to Christ. If Christ is weak and pathetic, can't even have a challenge, can't get over it, how are you going to get to Christ through a weak man? Men need to deal with their issues in private and get over it. It's not right what happened is wrong, but once they get right, they're not going to do it to the next generation in the end. But I'm telling you, this is an insult to Christ, to masculinity. I don't ever seen a show where it looked like Oprah is on the side of men. 
Amen. Amen. I'm sorry? I still disagree. Yeah, I'm that's still. fine. I understand. And, and, I, and I'm okay with that. It's not personal. But men should not do this in front of women. I'm telling you. What do you think about that, Kelly? Um, you know, the questions that Angie was voicing, I had those exact same questions yeah. in my mind as well. I'm sitting here digesting because it kind of hurts me a little bit in some ways to, to hear like, you know, there's nothing that a man can get from a woman. But I, I have to say, I really don't think Oprah's right. the right. And I'm not saying that there's nothing that a man can get from a woman. But what I'm saying is a man cannot afford to be weak right. with a woman. Right. Christ was never weak. Right. And because of that, we respected him. We believed in him which caused us to believe in God. If Christ had been crying about the situations that he had to go through, molestation is bad, but it still doesn't compare to what Christ had to go through and the way he dealt with it and the way he was able to overcome evil with good. Right. And that encouraged the world. Right. You're not going to be encouraged by some weak, wimpy, pathetic guy crying to some woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. A woman is not going to respect that. I know how women think, and they will not respect that. They'll cry on Oprah, but when they get home, it's a different story. What do you think about bringing it to light? How should it be done on TV? Because I, I agree with Angie that um, I, it's like a huge problem. It hardly ever yes. gets talked about. I agree with that, too. And it's a way that evil spread a There lot. is a way to bring it to TV without embarrassing the man or woman like and making them or something like yeah minutes there's a way to do it you can talk about your life and talk about how you overcame and blah 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 without make men and women making them look set them up for judgment yeah you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. there is but you have to have an insight so you can see how to do it in the moment but oprah is doing this from her intellect i'm telling you she's not doing it from love She's not doing it from the moment, mm -hmm. from God giving her the insight. Otherwise, she would never, ever bring the men on and degrade them like that. And then knowing that once they get back home, they have to deal with their wives or, or women and other children. Is it true that she went through the same thing? She was molested as well? Yes. I think possibly she might have brought them on as a way to maybe make her feel like she'd gotten over it when maybe she hasn't dealt with it properly. Well, it's clear she hasn't dealt with it properly. Right. So yeah. I, maybe that was, you know, her way of trying to feel The motive it. is definitely wrong, that's for sure. Yeah. The motive is wrong and it's evil, folks. I don't care. I know when you're watching on TV, you feel all sad. And you think the devil tell you that this is good and this is being exposed. It's not being solved. It's not being resolved. Not at all. Um, did you have an email thing for me? Too late. Is it too late? Maybe we can deal with it next week. Okay, what's the name of the person that's calling? Uh, a couple of them. One is from Rita Anderson about the homosexuality issue. Oh, what did Rita say about it? She said that why do homosexuals have to publicly come out anymore than fundamentalist Christians or atheists or people who wear purple underwear have to come out? That's right. <laughs> and just think about, and you're right about that. Who's the other one from, and we'll deal with it next week? Uh, Clinton from Van Nuys. Oh, uh, what did he say? It's about the same subject? Not the same subject. Some a little bit different. Okay, well, we'll deal with that next week. We're really out of time. But just think about this, folks. How are you going to have, one day you're going to have a show glorifying homosexuality, Saying that the world would be better if homosexuals came out the closet. Yep. And then the next day you're going to have a bunch of men on there talking about being molested by homosexuals. Yep. And so we're, just think of, does that make, I mean, just think of, you got to wake up and see what's going on here. Homosexuality is wrong, but she's promoted as good. What made you think that she think bringing these men up front is good?